with you. And so, yeah, she would have a right to suspect infidelity. But there was none of that going on. That's not the purpose. That's not the reason for this. Red Squad, morning, morning, morning. Let's talk about this judge, this judge Greg Mathis and this divorce situation. He want to get his wife back. Let's talk about why that might not be a good idea. All right, guys, hit that like button. Check out the intro and let's get it. Worst days of my life, how about that? Okay, well I'm sorry to hear that. I wanted to ask you, you know, with news of the separation, how are you holding up? Not holding up very well. I would say the uh, other man. Maybe I'll be an uh, example for other man, cautionary tale. Yeah, I can't take this society, bro. I can't deal with it. Look how this man is mind screwed. He is mind screwing himself. He don't even get it. He don't even get what's going on here. Sir, you did nothing wrong, sir. She don't want to be your help me anymore. She wants you to be her help me, sir. And it don't work like that. Why did you get married, sir? And then you talking about you could be an example for who? What generation of men do you want to be an example for, sir? You're not a good example for yourself, let alone being a good example for other men. Nah, knock it off, judge. Knock it off. Don't neglect your wife. You see how many at the airport now, flying out, as I have for 40 or for 25 years. My wife has been third. You heard him. This is how you know these people don't be married by the real God. These people don't be married by the Most High. I don't know who be marrying them, but it don't be the Most High. Because the Most High tell you that she's supposed to be third, sir. God, man, woman. That God won, you two, she third. So she supposed to be third, sir. 25 years third, that's her place. So now you're going to, what you going to do now? You're going to position her into the one position? That's what you're going to do? You're going to position her into the, and you got to see the comments underneath this video, guys. Women in our society, they love to see a compromised man. They love to see a weakened man. Look, 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 look at him. Now they finna drag this dude. <laughs> they finna drag Judge Mathis, bro. Oh yeah, we're, we're still in the same house and we're maintaining a friendship. And I'm trying to get my wife back. Try to have to show her that though. Um, hopefully I can show her while we're there together before and hopefully she doesn't complete the process. But um, I'm changing in hopes that she will. I'm gonna get my wife back. How about okay, that? Absolutely. I just wanted to eliminate all the rumors too that it's something about a baby or even me uh, molesting a child. It's none of that. I've just told you what it is. Now, fellas, listen to your big bro. Listen to your big bro. Any female leave you because you're a workaholic, she don't deserve you, bro. She don't deserve you because this is what it's gonna come down to. These women. They do not pour in on themselves. So they can't bear to be in a relationship with somebody who's pouring in on themselves. They're gonna look at you as you're doing too much and you ain't doing nothing for them. They supposed to be doing things for themselves because happiness and this love is created by them. They supposed to create these things, but they get in these relationships and sit there and wait for the man to create these things for them. Any female, who don't respect your work ethic, don't respect your drive, she don't deserve to eat with you, bro. There were also, you know, kind of some rumors of any infidelity. Did you want to clear that up at all? You say it's solely neglect. Well, neglect uh, can create suspicion, certainly. And if you're gone as much as I am, you have every right to suspect. You know, you go to work, you go serving the community around the country, then you go with your guys to sporting events around the country, you go to other events with, except without your wife hanging with you and enjoying herself with you. And so, yeah, she would have a right to suspect infidelity. Now, when they say neglect his wife, I neglect Miss Goodbread all of the time. But see, the funny thing is, and this is the key, I st she still have a reason to chase my validation because I did not run and go get married by the state. I didn't go get married by the devil. You see how that worked? You see? Because these women fall out of love real quick. They fall out of love real quick once you give them the theme. You know, these women want to be mothers. Then they want to be wives. 
And as soon as you give them the theme, then they have no reason to chase your validation. Then the relationships start to get sour because the sex don't come as frequent. She ain't busting it open as much. Now she's sleeping in the other room and finding ways to just lower the attraction she have for you. So now the man who is already on his purpose, already somehow neglected her because that's what's gonna get them up out of poverty. Now he goes off and looks and seeks for that companionship in other women, in other women. Some women sabotage the relationship this way. Some women will begin to pull back from you wanting you knowing you're going to go cheat and then when you go cheat you give her the reason to divorce and do what she wanted to do anyway once the honeymoon phase had already died guys pay attention stay up out of these marriages guys all right you can have companionship you can have a, a healthy relationship with a woman and not have to be married and compromised by the state she would have a right to suspect infidelity. But there was none of that going on. That's not the purpose. That's not the reason for this. How to keep the women you love, rule number one, create a healthy form of anxiety. Don't be all over her butt. Because if you all over her butt, guess what's going to happen? She going to cheat on you, dummy. So I'd rather have a woman mad because I ain't giving her all my time and attention than to be giving a woman all my time and attention and then she go cheat. Because now, when you give her all your attention, she ain't gonna cherish that. That's gonna get boring to her. And she gonna go look for another exciting person that she could chase. These women wanna be chasers. They think that they want everything hand delivered to them. But the dudes that's hand delivering everything to them, those are the dudes that they cheat on. You see how that worked, George Mathis? So you're going to go get yourself back into this relationship. Go ahead. And guess what she's going to do? She's going to repay. She's going to make sure you feel it this time. She's going to repay you for all of those times she sat home thinking you were working and you know, God knows where you was, what you was doing. But she's going to get you, sir. This is why once it's done, it's done. Seek God and everything else will come, guys. This society, this wicked culture got y'all putting these women first, bro. And these women is loving it. You got to see the comments, bro. They, oh, he sounds so genuine. He sounds this. They, they love to see a man fight hard. Like, think, think about what they do to these fathers, right? Fight for your kid. You got to fight for your kid. Why the fathers got to fight for something to take two to make, right? Oh, he got to fight to get his wife back. He got to fight. Bro, you, don't, you shouldn't be fighting to get no wife back, bro. You the prize. Fuck you look like fighting for a gift when you the prize. But um, whatever he want to do, you know what I mean? I hope it worked for him. Again, remember, these things is isolated to these individual relationships, bro. This is his relationship. This is her relationship. So you do what you need to do for you. You know what I mean? I'm just here to give you the facts and the data. So I hope, for, I hope, I hope him the best. But I hope he don't get dragged, yo. We don't need to see another one of our brothers getting dragged, bro. At the hands of feminism. Y'all wrap up, strap up, drink responsibly. And do not play with your life, guys.